What's going on VFAM, your boy Juan Valdez here and today I wanted to make this quick video going over three ways to stay motivated while trying to build a business. What's going on VFAM, your boy Juan Valdez here and today I wanted to make a quick video going over three of the biggest mistakes I made on my first Shopify store that made it completely just fail, right? Those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over. This channel is for the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has out for us to do. And one of those things for sure that society doesn't want you to do is to be able to, you know, stay motivated when things aren't going your way, when you're going through hardships, and especially when you're trying to build a business. So obviously, I'm here to help you guys and share exact things that I do whenever I'm going through tough times. Because believe it or not, even the people that you guys see at the top that you seem as really successful successful even though I'm not you know I, I can't really compare myself to like the top entrepreneurs the top successful people but people in all stages of their life whether like they're just getting started they're you know seeing success and even the most successful people they're all going through things right it's just a matter of the level of problems that they're going through right obviously when you're just getting started probably the problems that you're going through won't be as big as like someone that's already further along the journey uh, and obviously those problems won't be as big as like someone that's like crushing it right like one of some of the most successful people they probably have some of the biggest problems that come by one thing that's important though is to be able to know how to stay motivated because trust me when it comes to building a business and entrepreneurship honestly when i first got started like like i heard people talk about it's going to be trouble and it's not easy to kind of get through those hardships and things like that but now that i'm going through it going through different businesses and different ventures like i actually see you know what they mean right because it's not easy right when things are not going your way you know you're pretty much the only one that can keep yourself accountable before you just completely give up right so i had three points just kind of outline and we'll kind of go through those and again make sure you guys stay so till, till the end of this video because i got some great things to share for you guys i'm cutting right to the chase i'm just going to kind of go through all these so uh, one of the first things that i like to do whenever things aren't going my way is i always think back to how things were before I got started with that business or opportunity, right? An example I like to use is when I first got started in door-to-door -door sales, there was a point in time that after I got started to get success and see results, that I kind of hit a plateau, right? And I kind of hit a point in time where like, I didn't feel like I can do any better and I, didn't, I wasn't really making any sales. What I had to do constantly is remind myself like, how were things for me before I got started in door-to-door -door sales, right? I was just in school um, and I was just working a regular part-time job and obviously that wasn't doing much for me, right? That's something that you guys can also do, right? No matter what opportunity you're going through, whether it be e-commerce, social media marketing, if you're doing sales, if you're working a job, it's important you do that because if you don't think back to how things were when you first got started then it's gonna be really easy to just stay the same in that situation that you're currently in whether you hit a plateau or you're just not motivated and you don't really want to get things done going to the next point you want to make sure something that helps me and hopefully helps you guys out is whenever you're coming into a new opportunity you always want to think bigger picture right when I got into e-commerce my mindset into getting into e-commerce is of course I don't know if this is gonna work out or not worst case scenario I'll lose some money best case scenario I get to make some money and I get to learn valuable skill sets so me coming into e-commerce my main takeaway that I really wanted to learn from e-commerce itself if it didn't work out is that at least having the skill sets and that's how I think about any opportunity that I get into now right you want to think about what value do I get from going through this business venture and business opportunity and of course like what's like the end result and what can things look like if they go really well and if they don't work out at all so I like to compare and really see like what kind of benefits I'm gonna get if I actually become successful within it and what kind of benefits do I kind of lose out if I don't become successful in it. And I like to do that because then I can use the benefits and associate massive reward with those benefits and really use those as motivating factors, right? So I know for a fact that if I could get really good at e-commerce and actually start getting results with it, of course I would have more valuable skill sets than I already had, which for those of you guys that don't know the famous quote by Jim Rohn is, you get paid in proportion to the value that you bring to the marketplace. So obviously sales is valuable, but having skill sets that it takes for an e-commerce business, now I have sales and that, so now I'm more valuable, right? So that's one of the things. And then of course, I would be able to make money. So obviously, 
you know, we all want to make money going into any business. Just because you haven't got success after a week doesn't mean what you're doing doesn't work. That's the biz biggest mistake I see. A lot of people come into any opportunity, not just e-commerce. What I see a lot of people doing is like they'll get into drop shipping or e-commerce or affiliate marketing or whatever opportunity it is, and they'll try it out for a few days or a week, and then they won't get any results and they'll automatically give up. And that's a huge mistake, right? When I first got started with door to door sales, my first month, I did terrible. I didn't make any sales, but I knew that again by me doing sales I could again equip myself with new skill sets because at that time I didn't even have sales experience right the second month I got mentorship I started learning and I got really good and my second month in I actually became the top salesperson within the office that I worked in right so if I would have gave up after that first month I didn't get any sales I would have lost out on you know becoming the top sales rep in the office and also making a good amount of money right because obviously at the time i was barely making any money and that was when i first had made like my first five or six thousand dollars in one month which is absolutely insane obviously for someone doing sales uh or brand new to sales i would say um and so obviously i would have missed out on that so you always i always like to reference like there's always a picture that i've seen before and if you, there's like this guy always jacking away at the wall and he's like a millisecond or like a or an inch away from like gold right so it's always like that whenever you're doing anything it's just a matter of time whenever things work as long as obviously you're going through the right guidance and mentorship so when i first got started with e-commerce me and my business partner samir we made no sales when we first got started we actually lost money which makes it worse than when i got started with door-to-door -door sales because at least in door-to-door -door sales i didn't waste any money i was just you know, I spent my time, I wasted time, but I didn't waste any money. When I first got started in e-commerce, I wasted time and lost money. So think about that, right? And it wasn't until like our second and third week where we actually started seeing results. And then the next month after that, we literally scaled our store to do over 200 grand. But it just shows like, again, if we would have quit after the first three weeks of not seeing any results and actually losing money, we would have never seen one of the biggest ones that we ever had. It's just a matter of, you know, timing and also giving things time because a lot of people want to just get Get results right away and that's not how things work that's just not how things work in reality i'm just being super transparent with you guys and again things take time point blank don't get discouraged after the things after the first time you encounter adversity because you will consistently encounter uh, adversity right now I'm going through a little bit of adversity because one of the projects that I want to launch with my business partner is taking a little bit longer to launch than I wanted to do that I wanted to take, right? So obviously for me, like that's a little bit of adversity. So now if I get discouraged and I I want to give up now on the project, well now I don't know what the reward is gonna be from the project, right? How many people I can help and what the actual reward is gonna be from being successful with this project. Now the last one is you wanna use your conditions or situation as fuel. And what I mean by that is if you're broke, use that as fuel. If you you were raised by a single mom use that as fuel if you were i didn't even include this last one and so obviously every single everybody's situation is going to be different for me personally i was raised in a single environment i was raised by a single mom and obviously i was broke so i use all three of those as fuel. i personally got tired of being broke i got tired of not being of just seeing my mom work a crazy amount of hours and barely being able to make ends meet and also i got tired of you know, living in the place that I used to live. I, again, for those of you guys that don't know me, I lived and I was raised in one of the poorest parts of Boston. So having all those situations work around me was absolutely incredible. And that's what really motivated me to become successful. So use whatever conditions you have to your advantage because those conditions, if you can turn them into a much better situation, you can always use them as your story. And it always makes a good story where you can come from rags to riches right well, you can come from absolute nothing and actually make something of yourself i'm sure you guys not recognize this guy's face right here for those of you guys that don't this is actually sam walton and sam walton again there's billionaires that have similar stories but i wanted to just kind of go through these two successful people just really quickly here you have sam walton and for those of you guys that don't know about sam walton he milked the family cow bottled the surplus and drove it to customers afterwards he would deliver columbia daily tribune newspapers on a paper route in addition he also sold magazine subscriptions and during his college he worked various odd jobs including waiting tables in exchange for meals after graduation he joined the u.s army during the world war ii after the world war he left the military and started managing a variety store at age of 26 and not long after that was walmart came into fruition and so you can see the process that we go through right well, again he didn't have a good upbringing right things were tough he had to work with a lot of different things a lot of different jobs to actually get results and success but he's able to become one of the richest people of our time and again here you have this lady right here you may have already recognized her face oprah she was la later raised in the inner city milwaukee neighborhood she has often spoke about the hardships she experienced during childhood saying she was raped at age nine and 
and 13 and after suffering years of abuse she ran away from home she became pregnant at 14 her son she said died in infancy while in high school she landed a job in radio and began co-anchoring the local evening news at the age of 19. she got transferred to the daytime talk show arena because of her emotional ad ad lib delivery so you can see the kind of hard hardships she went through but obviously you think about now who the person she is and obviously she's one of the most impactful people of our time that was just a quick reference to two successful people that went through tough times yeah i hope you guys picked up a thing or two if you guys did make sure you drop a like on this video i would highly appreciate that and of course if you guys have any questions about anything that i went through as far as like staying motivated make sure you drop it in the comments below also if you guys want to see all more videos about me sharing other ways you guys can stay motivated not just throughout business but in life comment stay motivated down in the comments below and if i get enough comments that i'll make another video on it and of course if you guys haven't already make sure you join the v fam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace